Hey, what's up, Roddy? Excited to bring you another video. This time is with the Mezco 112 Collective, Lone Roach and Grub. Some of you may call him the Samurai Gomez, but the official name is Lone Roach and Grub, and I want to bring it to you, bring it hot and ready. So let's get started. Got to start by saying uh, I'm always excited to have Gomez stuff. I love that Gomez can kind of be put in any situation and have a good time. And I know we first saw him, a first glimpse of him, actually, when we got to the Zero comic and the Agent Gomez normal release. Uh, sorry, the other MDX release that was not Toy Fair. And uh, it's crazy because as cool as this guy came out, he's even cooler than I expected. And I'll jump into it and tell you why. First and foremost, let's jump into the articulation and the look. And as you can see, this Gomez actually has gray skin. So this is now the second Gomez to have a skin color change. Before it was a slight change of the browns. And then we got different color heads. This one, we actually have an overall uh, gray body from what we can see here that is visible. And then we also have the gray head, which is actually pretty dope. Uh, it's kind of giving you that old school feel to it. As if, if everything was done in black and white, if you watched an old Samurai movie, or if you watched the classic uh, 47 Ronin or 7 Samurai, if this was done in black and white, you would get Gomez, right? And black and white. So him having a gray body is actually pretty cool. And I've enjoyed that. Uh, you have the dark gray pants. You have the light gray top. It's definitely giving you that feel. The classic black gloves with the staple Gomez hands. So all while being a dimension hopping, time traveling uh, roach, he uh, dresses appropriate for his Asian era, right? So this is all pretty cool. Now articulation wise, uh, Gomez still has his antennas that move around. And as you can see, they're easy to come, easy to go. So that way it prevents them from breaking. Something I very much enjoy. The head can go up and go down. The neck piece is a separate part. So that way he has a ton of range and even can turn his head all the way around with a no problem. It's one of those cool things that I very much enjoy. Uh, Gomez has a lot of freedom in the body. And that's one thing about this outfit, actually. It kind of lends to that. So it gives you that extra bit of range. The arms can go all the way up with no problem. He has a lot of freedom here. As you can see here, I can rotate the arm all the way through and around and out. Arms are continuously double jointed. And there is a bicep swivel. And you get your standard wrist peg articulation that we all know and love. As far as the ab crunch goes, you can go left, you can go right, you can go backwards, and you can go forward. So, the question is whether or not you're going to be able to get samurai stances or certain particular or previous gold man stances. I don't think any of that will be the issue with this guy. As you can see, I'm going to pose him up. And as far as the lower body goes, because these pants are so freeing, or the kimono, I should say, is so freeing, you can do splits with your Gomez. Leg articulation goes forward. Uh, it doesn't go back because we all have that butt cheek flap that we normally get in figures now. The legs are double jointed. They have a thigh swivel as well. The feet actually have the same articulation as previous Gomez. And with these sneakers, we actually get red ones as opposed to the black we've been getting before. And he still has generous uh, inward ankle pivot. Uh, <laughs> inward ankle pivot, sorry. And outward ankle pivot is just not as good. But I don't really mind that at all. Because, again, if you're going to be wearing high tops, you don't want to break your ankles anyway. So I totally understand it being and fitting to that end. Now, as far as the look goes and articulation and what we can move around this guy with, I think we are definitely getting one of the best Gomez in terms of range. Because this outfit is so freeing that if you want to do certain stances, I'm going to back him up. I'm going to lower this back down for you guys so you can see. And as you can see here, if you were drawing a blade, rescinding your blade, backing up for a stance, all of those would not be an issue. Obviously, you can't get that full forward ankle pivot, but by just rotating the thigh out, fixing those knees with a double jointed at, voila, look at that. Posed up, ready to go. We haven't even gotten into the other stuff that he comes with, so let's jump into that. One of the cool things I love about Lone Roach is that his extra kimono part that I'm going to actually put on him. But first, I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to leave him like that. This is absolutely beautiful and stunning. It's one of those things where it lends itself the art of just being really well done. I love this design. Uh, it's just really dope. I don't even know what it comes from, but I know that uh, <laughs> I kind of want it on a shirt now. The front looks very, very good. And the, the dark red actually complements the gray very well. Fits with the sneakers. Uh, classic 90s New York guys would absolutely love this outfit. 
uh, as far as color color palette wise. So let's actually just put this on. Make Gomez look stylish as hell for the Edo period. Rotate these arms down, stand them straight up. And as you can see, this fits over his uh, previous costume very, very well. He has the look and the feel of it. Fits all very, very well. Looks a little baggy, but uh, that's obviously the look of this era. Clothes could look great. Now, when you actually stand this guy up and get him to just look around like over his shoulder, even with the arms propped in any shape or form, just looks good with him just standing there like this. Absolutely stunning. I love this look. It's one of those things where it's different enough to get you vibing with it, but also kind of recognizes that artistic style that you may like and love. Really, really like this at all. This is dope. And it feels really good too. This is one of those things where uh, the vinyl on this, I don't know if it's vinyl, I could be wrong, sorry. But just the feel of this, this pattern is just really good. Super, super dope. This is one of those things, uh, I hope going forward they get uh, more artsy with it. It's a very good look. Now, gonna make you look good, stand you right there. Then we're gonna talk about the other things that Gomez comes with. Uh, and we get a little bit of mixing and matching and really cool things like that. So uh, let's try to uh, get to it. Now, we always gonna get your staple Gomez hands and your staple Gomez items, but I'm gonna just talk about them same and all. Now, you still get Boom Boom, but now Boom Boom is in red. You don't get a black one or a crazy color one. You get Boom Boom in red. But since Gomez is now a samurai, there is no pieces here. So that way you can kind of add that storage case like previously. But if you already have previous Gomez's, this shouldn't be too much of an issue. You just plop those right in there and you can color swap with any previous Gomez that you may have. Boom Boom in red is really dope for me because red is my favorite color. So everything about this is an A plus for me. So boom, boom, coming in red, not a problem. Then you get your standard staple backpack for your lone roach. This time it comes in green. Uh, and if you want, you can swap it with your street Gomez, make it look cool so you can have green on green or black and green. The one cool thing about having uh, all the different Gomez that you can kind of swap around the taste of it and color swap, the palettes is just really dope. You still get your standard backpack. It's really nice. I'm gonna get back to this in a second. Next up, you get his hoverboard which by far, this is my favorite version of the hoverboard so far. Look at this cool design. They've kind of just put one of those, those images that you really know and love that kind of fit the era and put it on his hoverboard and it actually color matches on the opposite side. So that's actually really dope. And just like always, in case you're wondering, feet are still magnetic, really, really nice. Still strong, no problems. But this, my favorite hoverboard. No matter which Gomez I use now, I'm definitely gonna use this hoverboard for it. Not gonna have any issues. Now, you still get uh, his standard zip sword, the Cosmic Katana. This time, instead of it being all black or green or, or any other version, you actually get one that's, uh, that's reddish at the hilt and on the sheath. Nice samurai stuff. Got that nice look, that nice sheen to it, not the black version, no stealth one. So this is actually very nice. Again, complements his previous colors right here on his uh, kimono. Really, really nice. Now, <clears throat> you're still going to get your standard katanas, even though you have your stip sword. These are black and gold. They have a nice shine finish to it. Really nice. And if you want, you can slide these right in between the belt area. Like a natural born samurai that he is. Voila. Now you can actually complete your look for the Lone Roach so far. Now, some of you may be asking, where's the grub? What is the grub? What do we talk about with a grub? I'm going to get to that actually right now. Now, with your grub, you actually get a tiny Mezitz Gomez, which is pretty cool. Now, if you've ever watched uh, Lone Wolf and Cub, you would know that uh, this is kind of, it kind of alludes to that sort of thing. And it's actually really cool. You get your tiny mezzets. It has a movable waist. The arms can go up and down. You can rotate these little legs that go outward. Your little five points of articulation there. <laughs> five points. Love that. Now, if you want your lone roach to go into the bag, what I suggest you do, 
you kind of can have him sit by tucking in the flap and have him sit arms over. You can have your little grub there. Or if you want to get really crazy, you literally just strap him in <laughs> like some dynamite and really get your lone roach on by just strapping him on our back. Get your lone wolf on. You can totally do it this way as well. And that's why I said I'd come back to it with the backpack, which is really dope. I really like this idea a lot. <laughs> I need more of this. Now, in comparison to a normal Mezzets, though, this is a normal Mezzets. Did you get bonus when you buy stuff? And here is the Gomez one. As you can see, he's very tiny. A tiny grub. That needs to grow into a bigger grub. So hopefully we get another size grub. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll see in the future. If not, I'm totally okay with the tiny one, wreaking havoc upon the people. Then you get your standard stickers and decals to plot wherever you want. Paste them along the dimensions that you cross with Gomez. Really nice stuff. Last but not least, oh, no, sorry, it's not even last at all. <laughs> I'm just dragging on. You get a pole and a flag. Now, with your flag, you're going to allude through these slides. Do 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 and then you can create a flag. The flag is actually really nice, it's not wired, unlike the back of the jacket, which has a nice pattern that allows you to actually look like it's free flowing as well. And I think that's the vinyl helping that out. But this is actually really nice. And at the top, I don't know if you guys can see it well enough, but I'm going to try to get it a better picture of it as I remove this. Here's the Mezco logo. Japanese kanji. It's really, really nice. And if you want to wave your flag wherever you go, this is a very nice look for it. Next up, you have your red scarf that you get, which now definitely fits. Everybody always asks about what the scarf does. Why does he come with a red scarf? Well, it doesn't matter. Because now it totally fits in this area. If you want to be a lonesome ronin and or samurai. Well, ronin or, or masterless samurai. Sorry about that. But if you want to be a ronin or a samurai. Next up, we get the two heads that I'm going to talk about. Which is really cool because this head, Land of the Rising Sun head, looks really, really nice with this white and red. And like I said, we've been alluding to a lot of different variations of red and cool dark colors. And it's just, it's been a really good look. I really like the way these ones came out. And the eyes are a little bit more translucent, so you can see through the back of it with more white. It's really nice. Then you get a cool black and red stealth head. Which again, if you've gotten previous Gomez, mixing and matching these heads are gonna be a really fun time. I love these color swaps. They've come out great each time. So I've really been enjoying these. Now we're gonna talk about the hands that Gomez comes with, and we're gonna go through that right now. As you can see, he comes with his standard closed fist, which is natural. You have your weapons holding hands for swords and staffs and holding boom boom, should you have it. These two right there. Then you have your open action palms, which are probably one of my favorite hands for Gomez. They just, you know, they split so much action. Then you have your right trigger hand, which is pretty cool. And the left one, the left trigger hand. You have your standard, uh, you know what hand. <laughs> this is my favorite one, but if I curse, you know, they get weird about it. There's still children watching. Then you have your pointing hand. This one is the right one. You have your subtle relaxed hand for holding uh, special weapons. So if you have a long rifle, or in this case, even if you wanted to put the pole or a sword hand here, it works out really well. You get another trigger hand for holding the cosmic pea shooter, should you decide that's a staple. You get your signing off hand two fingers. You get your standard grenade holding hand or large uh, weapons hand. And I think that about covers the hands. Now we're gonna jump into the size comparison. So let me clean up just a bit. Leave boom boom in the background. Let's stand Gomez up as well as possible. So we can get this guy to look as good. Next to some other toy lines. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna back up a little bit. So we actually have a little bit more space to cut talk about everything with other lines. So first and foremost, uh, I want to compare him to other Gomez. So let's do that right now. Stand him up next to his uh, various other counterparts that you see himself with and various dimensions and timelines. So there's street, 
Here is Assassin, which could be him in a different part of this timeline, you know, depending on how you want to go about it, right? Then you got Stealth Ops. And last but not least, the one that started it all, we have Agent Gomez, which is probably the, uh, I guess he's the one that uh, kind of triggered all of this, right? The Agent. So here we have the five Gomez together, looking really great. And I'm hoping we, we get more because honestly, I've been having way too much fun with this guy, crossing him over in just about anything you can have him in. And it's just fun to have a really cool toy that you can kind of be free with. So I've been really been enjoying. Uh, honestly, I was gonna say, <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite toys as much as it is a Cougar, which is, uh, it says a lot about me. Here, we're gonna compare him to some other Mezco. So here he is next to a Judge Dredd. Here he is next to a Batman, so we can get our comparison on. So size-wise with other Mezcos, he probably stacks up pretty well. A little bit more lean and thin. Here he is next to a Custom, but it's on a Mezco body. Suit by CJ, head by Old Boy. And as you can see, size-wise, Gomez looks great with just about everybody in the Mezco era, so that looks good. It's a very good look. Now we're gonna compare him to some other lines and show you what it looks like next to some other lines. Here he is next to a Lightning Collection Green Ranger. Here he is next to a Storm Collectible Scorpion. Right? Voila. Those look pretty good. I mean, even if he is on the smaller side, it just looks fun. You can have some fun. Here he is next to the Mafex Spider-Man. Here he is next to an Articulated Icons Ninja. For those of you who love ninjas and want to cross this over, you'll have a good time with the ninjas and this guy. Really good. Here he is next to a 1000 toy synthetic human. Doo -doo -doo. Here he is next to Kamen Rider Agito. So you can see uh, the Mezco stuff is actually a tad bit bigger, but because of Gomez's lean body, it actually looks pretty cool. Even if he is like an anthropomorphic roach with a big head, body wise, he looks great across other separate lines as well too. So like I said, even if he is dimension hopping, it'll look good. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends Golden Jaguar, AKA Killmonger, right? Here he is next to Mythic Legions. Here he is next to a NECA Predator. So you can just see, this guy's pretty small. And uh, just in case you wanna do some like Skeleton Warrior stuff, the Skeletons 2.0 are a bit smaller, Mythic Legion wise. Just in case you didn't want to see that. Oh, sorry, just in case you wanted to see that. All in all, this has been a dope piece. I've really loved it. One of the things I wanted to say for last that I thought was really, really dope, uh, and I wanted you to wait for the pictures, but I'm kind of excited to show you it now, is that Mezco actually also included a really cool poster. A Mezco Toys production. You can see the Japanese kanji up there. Lone Roach and Grub, Vista of Death. There's Boom Boom in it, there's Grub, there's Gomez. And this looks great. Something you can hang on your wall as a memento of getting this piece. Uh, it's just one of those cool things that you kind of just get. I think that including things like that in it is definitely a nice added bonus. And it just looks great. Why not uh, build your universe, have something cool to talk about, and a little memento of it, right? Especially if you're supporting it and you love this line. This is a definite great addition to it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully you found it informative. But most of all, guys... Hope you do good, be good, drink your water, later.